Hi, we are going to set up PHP programming environment. This is the second video on XM installation. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found on this web page, which is loaded here. And it is case sensitive. So in the last video, we went to apachefriends.org and um, we installed, uh, we downloaded XM for Windows. And you should see this page say awesome, your download um, started automatically and is successful after you wait for around two minutes for me, for you maybe slightly different in terms of depending on your internet connection speed. And because I'm running Firefox, the download file can be found here. So I'm going to click on the open containing folder to see the download file. And I'm going to install XM. I think you can just double click on it. And then you will see this, um, um, <clears throat> this windows open up, ask you if you want to make changes to your PC. Of course you say yes. And you will see this um, question. Do you want to continue with um, installation? Yes. OK. And um, welcome to the setup, um, XM setup wizard. You click on next. I'm going to install everything. Although you don't really need everything for the things we are going to do here, we only need Apache, MySQL. Okay, and um, PHP language and PHP, PHP my I mean that's all we need. But since we have this, all, uh, all the components, I'm just going to say, oh, I'm going to install everything. And um, XM is going to be installed in this folder, so we need to remember that. We click on next and next, and you will see this page which is a little bit distracting because your installation is actually happening here. So you need to bring out this page, say, are you ready to install? Yes, next. And then um, the installation will start. And it will take a while. So this time I'm going to wait because I want everybody to see um, the unpacking file process and the installation process would actually takes a while. So let's wait. <coughs> and as you can see here, XM is actually a development environment that package a couple of um, softwares together okay i'm going to put a setup window here so we can keep track of the progress and um, to do php we need apache web server we need php engine and to link up to a backend database we need a mysql database so that that is included in this xm package and xm also comes also comes with other things such as PO, which we are not going to use. Okay, so the unpacking files process is almost done. And it's going to take a little bit, a little while more. Okay, so we are done. Completing the XM setup wizard. Okay, do you want to start the control panel now? I say yes, finish. And I pretty much, it's, uh, language is English, so we choose the American flag. 
All right, so we see the control panel. Okay, now is a good time to pin this control panel to the taskbar. So I'm going to say I'm going to pin this. Oh, it's already pinned to the taskbar. Isn't that great? Um, we're going to pin this to your taskbar. If it's not pinned, okay, it you should pin this program to the taskbar. Okay, I probably have another XM installed previously. That's why I have that on my taskbar. But you should use this opportunity to pin this to your taskbar. All right, so um, I can close this. So next time, if you want to launch the XM control panel, you can use this from your taskbar, or you can actually go to, oh, before we go to that, now is a good time to clean up the download. I don't need the installer anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay. So next time, if you, let's say, if you do not want to um, launch XM from this control panel, from, from this, um, taskbar control panel here, I can actually go to my file manager. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to right click here and left click on my file explorer. So that will go to my file explorer and I go to my C drive. There's a folder created for you called XM folder. So all the XM stuff can be found there. And um, in this XM folder that is a EXE file called the X, XM control. So that is actually the EXE file to launch the control panel, same as the control panel link on the taskbar here. So I can actually double click here to launch the control panel. So there are two ways to launch the control panel. One way is to launch it from the the pin the, the launch from your um from your taskbar program icon or you can launch it from your c drive xm control exe um, control exe file so there are two ways to launch the control panel Okay, I think it's a good place to stop here. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to write a simple um, PHP file to run under the um, Apache web server, which is provided by XM. Thanks for watching.